we're uh, really proud of the group for uh, you know uh, not not a, a, a necessarily pretty game, clean game, but a, a hard fought, uh, stick together, grind it out, uh, end of a five game, seven night road trip, uh, and just really, uh, really just fighting. And, and I think that's how we won. We just grinded it out down the uh, as the game went. We had a you know really good first quarter and a good fourth quarter. Went went pretty darn cold there in the second and the third. But you know guys, you know, certain guys have been playing huge minutes. Uh, you know every other night, and, and other guys haven't haven't had a, a, a big uh, opportunity. So, uh, but really proud of the guys. Uh, you know, and I thought you know. Belly, Belly did a really, really good job of helping us get back into that in the fourth and, and made some big plays on both ends for us. So uh, credit to him for, for being ready, even though he hasn't been playing. And, uh, and then Harrison, you know, big step back three. But, you know, Harrison's been making plays for us all season, but proud of the group tonight. Okay, we'll start with James Hamm. Yeah, Luke, you mentioned him on you there. I mean, he hasn't played in three games as a healthy scratch, and then uh, your bench was just completely ineffective throughout the entire game. Uh, just how big was that? He had eight points there in the fourth quarter of your total 10 bench points. Yeah, we needed them. Uh, we needed them, guys. You know, guys, we, we were getting clean looks. You know, the, the, the game was a little slower than we liked, but part of that was on purpose. I knew, uh, I knew our guys were tired. I wasn't going to. Uh, I knew I was going to play Harrison and, and De'Aaron and, and, and uh, lean on them heavily, um, Buddy. So I wasn't going to yell at them to push it all game. Um, so part of it was was by design, but uh, we just we 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 were struggling to make open looks. So uh, really, uh, you know, really pleased with with uh, Belly's ability to to stay ready and step in like that and and help us out uh, on a night that we really needed it. Um, Jason Jones. Hey, Luke. Uh, normally, you don't see coaches go to a guy like in a situation like Belly, who hadn't played in a while, then go to him for the basically the entire fourth quarter. What was your thought process in deciding to change it up in that way? Well, uh, you know, I, I've, you know, I, I, I trust Belly. We, you know, he, he was our, our starting four man all last year, so you know, we, we he's got a really good connection with. Uh, with that group that's out there on the court. Um, and, you know, he knows how to play the game. He's, he's been a pro for a lot of years. And, uh, you know, it was one of those things where, you know, I was, I was playing, I'm playing him earlier in the game as well, but uh, it, it just, you know, it, it didn't work out like that as far as how the rotation went. Um, but you know he, like I said, give him credit. He stayed ready. Uh, I I have confidence in him. He knows that, and uh, he he stepped up big time for his for his teammates tonight. Sean Cunningham. Hey Luke, um, did it? You mentioned you know <laughs> nothing pretty for you guys, but it, it was almost kind of poetic in a way for this game to kind of end the way it did. That grimy kind of grinded out. Things aren't going your way, and especially that that call against Buddy down the stretch on that review? Yeah, <laughs> in a sense, although I would have, I would have preferred it just to be an and one, uh, you know, it's like winning in this league is tough. Uh, and it kind of piles up as, as you're, you're losing, uh, you're, you're stacking losses. So uh, it was definitely a gritty grinded out type of win, which look, I, I, I love that type of battle. Um, because I just think you, you you can grow so much from that and learn so much from from that where you just can't make shots on a certain night and still find a way. So uh, it, it was a good way to end a, a really tough trip for our guys. And I'm, I'm happy for them that we don't have to fly home on this five hour flight uh, with you know with another loss. So that that should hopefully make the flight a little easier. Uh, but with the understanding of like we gotta we have to build on this. Uh, we have to build on this. So we're getting back home and, uh, you know, we'll, 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 we'll see if, if we can't uh, start playing a little better. Jason Anderson. Hey, Luke. Um, yeah, just following up on that point and, you know, the flight home, this was five and seven. It was also, 
your second back to back in in six days. Um, and you know, you couple that with just how difficult it's been. What is, you know, what do you think a win does for this group? And then how tough is it when you're going through a stretch like that where you just can't get out of it? Yeah, it's hard. It, it's it can be unforgiving at times. Um, you know, which is why you have to you, you know you have to to try to enjoy it while you can because you know there's going to be tough times. But uh, you know what's you know the, more so than anything I'm, you know, I'm, I'm happy for those guys that, uh, on this you know that they, they, they it's just it's nice to feel that reward of getting a win after giving everything you had and i truly feel we, our guys gave everything they had uh we, we wasn't pretty we didn't make a lot of shots but they left it all out there and that's a good feeling and, and that's the feeling we we want to look for every game win or lose like leave it all out on the court every time we play and if we do that then you know we'll, good things will happen so uh, you know, not having Tyrese hurt tonight. We run a lot of our offense in that second unit with him. Hopefully we'll get him back. But, you know, you know we don't know until tomorrow. So uh, we'll enjoy this one uh, for tonight. And then it's on to, on to Charlotte uh, with our, our, our mindset with Charlotte, who's playing really well right now coming to town. Uh, Matt George. Hey, Luke. <clears throat> Excuse me. Luke, Rashawn Holmes tonight was uh... – or brought energy right from the jump, did a good job staying out of foul trouble in the first half, but picked up two or three quick fouls in that third quarter. Uh, can you speak to the energy that he brought? And then also when he did get into some foul trouble in that third quarter, did that change the game plan at all in the rotations in the second half? Yeah, it, it did. And look, we, Rashawn is, you know, when, when we're playing well and he's, he's blocking shots and communicating and calling out switches and guarding multiple positions, uh, you know that's when we're at our best, and I thought uh, I thought that he uh, he he was he was great tonight. Um, and it, it hurt it hurt a lot when he got in that foul trouble because he was doing a, a great job of, of communicating and anchoring our defense. Uh, so yeah, we had to get to a couple different rotations. Um, but when he's playing like that, you know it, it's tough to to take him out. That's why I challenged that fifth foul just because. You know, it looked like a foul to me, but I, I, I just did not want to lose him down the stretch of that game. So, uh, you know, give him credit for continuing to be aggressive in those final five minutes and not picking it up, picking up that sixth foul. Uh, but, yeah, he was a big part of us uh, winning tonight. So we'll go with James Hamilton. Hey, Luke, what did the officials say on that Buddy Hill tip-in? Uh, was there anything that they, they – Yeah, they I, mean, I, I can't argue it. They told me that he uh, – that Buddy grabbed his shoulder on, on the way up, so it went from a uh, made basket and one to a, an offensive foul, loose ball, two free throws for the other team, um, which, I, you know, obviously I was surprised. I was in the huddle drawing up uh, – you know, scenarios for if we, we got the free throw or not. So I, I you know, uh, that, that caught me off guard. But look, they saw the replay a bunch. Uh, I, I haven't seen the, the actual replay yet of it. Um, but, you know, luckily we still found a way to get out of there with a win. Kamani, last one. Oh, we got two more. Kamani. Hey, Coach. Congrats on breaking the streak. I know it's been tough for you guys. Uh, will Tyrese be available on Sunday for the potential Rookie of the Year matchup against Charlotte? Uh, we hope so, but we, we we just we won't know until tomorrow. He's got you know I, I don't know what the exact schedule is. I've been pretty dialed in on trying to uh, prep for Detroit all day uh, since I found out. But he, he's going to get evaluated tomorrow, um, and then we should know much much. Uh, we should be able to give an answer by uh, some point tomorrow whether he'll be ready for Sunday. All right, last one, Jason Anderson. Uh, Luke, there was um, some pretty pretty pointed discussion last night about, you know, basketball IQ and, and awareness and, and those kinds of things. Um, do you Did you get a sense tonight that any, you know, guys took that personally and then what kind of response did you see in that area? Well, I, I think that um, – I think that our guys responded to – you know, a, a lot of different things in a very healthy way tonight. This, this is more of uh, of the team that we we were used to seeing when we were, you know, having success and winning games. As far as just being locked in and uh, and executing and communicating. Now we were, you know, we shot the ball much better in a lot of those games, uh, but just from a mental standpoint, I thought that 
uh, between everything and the losing streak and the whatever else was out there, um, our guys did a really nice job of coming together and uh, being locked in and executing, uh, executing tonight. All right. Thank you, coach. Thank you, guys.